Hey everybody, it's Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com. And I recently had a comment on one of my videos asking what plugins or extensions I use for Visual Studio. And my answer was none because I don't use Visual Studio. So in this video, I just wanna kind of briefly show what I do use and why I use it. And that is JetBrains Writer. <laughs> I've been using Rider now for several years, um, probably be, I, like when it was in its EAP stages. And because of that, I actually have my mug in a little um, testimonial on the Rider homepage. So just some quick background in case you're unfamiliar is that JetBrains is actually the maker of ReSharper. So if you're familiar with the ReSharper extension that you can use within Visual Studio, which is awesome, um, they are the makers of ReSharper. They're also the makers of IntelliJ and you know, a whole suite of other IDEs for various languages and other tooling. Um, I love JetBrains products. Um, I use TeamCity, I use Rider, I use WebStorm, the list goes on. So when they decided to come out with um, an IDE for .NET, I was super excited. The prominent reason why I was excited for it was because I am a user of ReSharper within Visual Studio. And I found at this time, this is probably in Visual Studio 2017, um, just the performance not great. The performance not great in Visual Studio alone. And once you added ReSharper to the whole mix, um, I just found it to be completely unproductive in terms of responsiveness of the UI and the various actions that you could perform. And I needed something new because it was killing me. So when Rider came out, I was super excited. So as you can expect, you get all the goodies and things that you expect from ReSharper. They're all just built into um, Rider, obviously. So you get the full power of ReSharper that you ex that you had in Visual Studio. It's all within Rider. So that is a giant uh, incentive right there. Um, some of the other features that I really like is the one that I use probably the most often. I don't have it set up completely in this um, project is that you can actually configure various uh, applications to run. So if you have, for example, multiple console apps or ASP.NET Core apps or whatever you're actually building, and to say that, most of the time when I'm using Rider, I'm always generally building ASP.NET Core or a type of console apps. So I most often have various console apps that I need to run a part of my solution. And what's cool about Rider is that you can configure just like you would in Visual Studio to run multiple applications, but you can also start and stop them individually and not have to do them all in one big go, which is really useful. So that's a pretty cool feature there alone that's helped me a lot. Another really nice feature is the Git integration or version control integration that you have. Um, I specifically like it generally so I can see my change list really quickly without running to the command line, um, see diffs, and again, if you want to jump over to the command line and you want to do what you need to do, you can always run your git um, command line here uh, to see your changes if you prefer using um, kind of the, the command line. But again, the, to me, the, the git integration in terms of the UI end of it, I find really beneficial. Another pretty cool feature that's somewhat recent, I think, or at least it's new to me, is that you can create these HTTP requests under scratches and just allows you to kind of compose an HTTP request and run it uh, within the IDE. So right now I'm running my Orleans health check. Um, this is the project that I'm in. You can actually run this scratch and you can see from the results here that uh, what actual response came back and it was healthy is what my health check was actually doing. So it's pretty cool that you can actually create um, scratches here of HTTP requests that you actually want to run so that you can kind of troubleshoot the same type of things that you'd be doing in a UI via Postman, for example, but you can do within directly within Rider. So I keep going on and on about the features. As you can expect within a big IDE like this, there's a, a ton of functionality. I'm not gonna cover all of it, just some of the things that I really like. Um, but to answer the original question about what extensions do I use, the answer really is none. The thing that I use the most um, within Rider and it supports are Rosalind analyzers. So there's a ton of code inspections already there, but things like some async await analyzers that I use and some that come with existing packages and you get packages that you're using for to, to kind of conform with the best practice of the SDK that they have that you're using. So that's one big advantage as well is that it supports all the Rosalind analyzers. So if you want to give Rider a try, uh, like I said, I'm specifically using it for ASP.NET, but obviously it works for .NET Core. This is cross-platform, so you can run it on Mac OS, Linux, Windows, 
use it for Xamarin, Unity, the list goes on. Um, again, I only really use it for ASP.NET Core specifically. Um, I am not being paid by JetBrains to do this. I just enjoy using Rider, and like I said, I've been using it for quite a while now. So just kind of, I think having more options in terms of the IDE that you're using and what you like besides just Visual Studio is great. If you enjoy Visual Studio, keep using it, not really saying anything otherwise. You can head over to Rider, get a 30-day trial, and let me know if you enjoy it or if you're using it. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe for more software architecture related videos.